Tokyo Co Emphasis provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud tech stack, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. So let's start now. Uh, do you guys hear me? Can you just uh, can you get a confirmation from all of you that you can hear me? No one can hear me. Uh, one person can hear me. Okay, great. Okay, so now you can hear me. Okay, great. So we'll stay long. So we'll stay wise. some information that uh, you guys are able to hear me uh, I would request uh, other folks also please type in uh, so that I make sure that uh, no one is sleeping in the class so uh, we in the previous session uh, I think we spoke about uh, a list we spoke about uh, a set of things uh, we spoke about the three pillars so those are more or uh, less it's kind of the collection wherein um, you can use these collections in order to add multiple objects to it or you can iterate through and uh, the time you iterate you can even uh, I mean uh, do a class task and you can access those modules as well so you have seen uh, those examples right now so the the time when you would have probably uh, wait okay so when you do an iteration right so you can even use an iterator also here So you can use an iterator and if you let's say you are using a screen here so for that reason uh, whenever you use an iterator iterator.argmax you say iterator.max and this will iterate through each and every element of the collection and you have to type cast uh, the particular class which one you are you know you want to uh, use so because uh, again here whenever you say it uh, itgs i think we have seen that you are iterating dot next is uh, going to be the object so from now onwards, you'll see a lot of objects and everything you have to pass by uh, pass to the actual object by uh, by using a class name. Okay, the the same thing you'll be seeing in your advanced courses also. So I would request you guys to get more familiar with what is a class name, why you need to do it. Okay, and in the previous class we even spoke about uh, uh, we even spoke about how to order this right uh, how to sort this particular string so for meaning to say uh, you, you can use your uh, a string set for string sorting right so there are different ways of even sorting it there's a lot of uh, other APIs out there but we will just cover an example like a query here okay now there is a question uh, all right now before even getting into that let us see this when I talk about a list right so let's look into that uh, give us an example of a list so me say about uh, fruit collection okay now by by the name itself you are saying that you are collecting a list of fruits why list list because new array why not list list because it's new array or list list because new array um, say why uh, can you just type in your proper name please I would request you to do that or you want me to call for you to use see oh Keith <laughs> yeah uh, did you miss out your uh, last class? Uh, no, uh, I, I think I did specify in the, uh, in the previous classes about this, but again, I'll just give you an overview of this. Uh, in the previous sessions, we've even spoken about uh, accessing your. Sorry. Hmm? Sorry. Okay, in the previous 
classes that we've spoken about, uh, whenever you want to create an instance of a class, okay, just try to create an instance with the help of a list, okay? So it is something like uh, you can say list, list, and even I've told that list is not a class, list is a interface, okay? So a student is asking you why not uh, we can say list, list equals to new array list, okay? Which is not, uh, uh, sorry, list, list equals to new list, which is not uh, feasible in Java because you cannot create an instance of a interface, okay? I can say array list, li uh, list, list equals to new of array list, okay? So I'll just say a couple of variations here. New array list, okay? You can do it. I'll just take another tick here and I'll just import a copy of this of array list. I can even say list, array list, list two equals to new array list, okay? I can even say both of these, okay? I cannot uh, say list, list equals to list three equals to new array, new array list, because you cannot create an instance of a interface. Now, even I have been telling you from the very beginning uh, that I always try to access a particular class with the help of this array. This is an array. Uh, it is an interface pattern, okay? So it's it comes basically with your design pattern also, okay? So always try to access your class using the interface because you know that array list is going to, uh, somehow it is going to extend your list interface, okay? If it is there, down the line, it is going to uh, implement your list interface. see this all right so your array list is going to implement your list interface so for that reason we say list list equals to new array list okay now uh, here when i say list list equals to new list or new array list i can say uh, true true okay nice now let's say i'm just going to add say something like uh, public void add add true and in this I am going to give uh, an object okay and let's say I want to say abc and I can do nothing just like say view object and here I'm just going to say here I'm just going to create a list out here okay this I'm going to create it outside of this class and I just want to say So what am I doing is I, uh, from the, let me create a method out here. Okay, let me make my array list equal to this. So let me say in this case, true collection of true equals to new, true collection. And with the help of this uh, reference dot add true, what do, I, what do I want to add? I want to add a apple. So let's say even I can create a, a apple class also, I can even add this, okay. So let us talk about this strings right now. I added an apple, I added uh, uh, banana, okay, and carrot, right? Now, if I, after adding it, I just want to print that. So I just say uh, sysi, okay, and I, would, I want to print that particular string, okay. So I can I could have done it in the same uh, same uh, I mean same main method itself, but I, I just wanted to segregate that so that I want to say here add true to this also. Okay, so three times I call add true, and at the last uh, when I say this one dot order print ls true dot print ls, it is going to give me the different string like this banana carrot and apple. Okay, banana carrot. Okay, I get apple banana and apple carrot. Okay, now here we are specifically talking about a phrase here. But what happens is suppose, uh, as you know, this is a client program and I'm trying to add a list of fruits here. Now, I'm just, I just wanted to help this out. So I just wanted to add fruits, so I added the fruit out here, right? So now what I'll do is I'll just try to add an integer out here, okay? New integer of, that's a function, okay? Now, when I 
I say new is because of uh, 10, that does, while Google Maps compile time doesn't give any credit to it, okay? But even your runtime at this, for this example, doesn't give any credit to it, okay? At the time when you try to iterate this, okay, you know that at the time when you iterate this, you, you know that your fruit, okay? So your fruit is going to give you a list of fruits, but in the list of fruits, there is a integer as well, right? Now, this will definitely be going to give you some kind of run, uh, runtime instruction, which you have an idea what that I mean. Otherwise, first of all, question is why you need to, why do I need to give you an access to and anything apart from this, okay, or anything apart, apart from fruit, okay? Now, what am I going to do here is, the moment I am going to create and create a collection, I want to specify what collect, what kind of collection is that, okay? We talk about different things also, okay? So the understand this. So the moment I'm going to create a uh, collection out here, I'm just going to say, this collection is going to be called string, okay? Now this collection is going to be called string, okay? Now here I told that I created a collection, fruit collection, the, the type is actually string, right? Now if you can see here, so let me even uh, take this out. So you say here, Instead of object, I'll just say here, list of string, and I will try to add this string out here, okay? So I'll just add this string out here, okay? Now if you can see, when you say list of strings, uh, new equals to new array list of string, the moment you say fruit collection, add of string, it is okay, but the the time when you say add fruit, so obviously this is going to be a string, so it is not going to allow you to put an integer out here, okay? So only thing what you can add is, you can only add the string out here, any kind of string, okay? This is just a short example, even if you just take this very plain and simple out here, if I just create uh, an error list out here itself, let's say I'm going to talk about this, okay? I'll just give you one more example also, just to see. So if I say public, void add list okay now i'm going to create a fruit list out here again let's say this is not a fruit list this is going to be a um, computer list okay now i'm saying all the name of the computer should be in the form of the fruit list out here okay so i just say here computer list okay dot add i cannot add anything apart from this okay if i say double quotes it is okay, but if I say dot new of integer, okay, of 10, it is going to give me a compile time error out here. What it says, it says the method add string is in the type string is not applicable for the upcoming execution, okay. So this is kind of, uh, we say this as a generic, okay, your fruit collection, we are using a generic out here, saying that when you say list of strings, you can only add strings out here, okay? I'll just give you one more example out here. Uh, let's say we are going to deal with a list of persons out here, okay? So let's say if we have person out here, let's say, so let me just add this. Okay, I'll, so I'll take this person, okay? And I'll create an instance of this person and I'll try to put couple of persons to a collection. So let me even comment this out. I'll say public void add person. Okay. So this is the method which is going. I'm going to say here um, person. So let me say list inserted the person so that I can move this out here. So person uh, PER1 equals to new of person. Okay. Now, okay, I created a person here. Let me see. I'll just give a name and a role and that's it. Okay. New role and new role. set of persons out here. So what should I do? I just I need to say here list. So 
person okay personless equal to room relay okay and person that means we are saying that whenever you are creating a collection of person you are specifically talking about a person you cannot add anything apart from a person so if i try adding list of person list dot add now as you can see here when you say add automatically person is coming out here because in gen uh, when you have declared this that point of time you have given a generic information saying that this list is going to take a list of person out okay so i'll say here add on br point okay what if i say new string it is not going to take it even if i say person list dot add double quotes doesn't take it only one thing it takes it only takes list of person okay so here if i say person p2 so the new person go to folder so here i just need to say dot add p2 okay so what happens basically when you use it in this way now if you remember in the previous session uh, we have used a list let's say if i'm not using a um, if i'm not using a general size here right so let me just copy this and i'll try and come out from every size and use this one okay so uh, just imagine that i'm not using any general size here i'm just using my plain simple collection size here okay now in this collection i added uh, person i added uh, I can even add anything else, but let's be more specific. We are only going to add a person list here. Okay. Now, how do you iterate person list? Right. So, for in order to iterate, you know that we can use a for loop. Right. We are going to take that for loop. Um. Okay. So let's say in this person, uh, there is age, name, and SSN stuff and all, and I want to access those things. Right. So I, in order to use a for loop, I just say for int i equal to zero. I'll open person list dot size okay i plus plus and i say here um sys out okay or otherwise i say person list dot get of what i right after even giving saying get of i what is the written type of get of i written type of get of i is a object out here okay so if i say object out here I cannot say object dot any of those methods which is present in your person. I want to say get the age of this particular person, right? So I cannot say object dot get age. That we have already seen that, right? So in order to get that, I have to say insert sys uh, person out here, and I have to pass this particular object to person out here. Very plain and simple, which we have already seen. Now I'm able to access these things. Okay. So if I say sys out. I can even access all the age of all the persons out here, right? So if I just try to access this, uh, status void. Uh, a log by the state of age. Okay. So from state. the main method, I'm just calling this one right now. Just let me take this out. Okay. So the moment I call this method, so right click, run as Java application. Right, I got thirty and thirty. Right, so because I've given thirty two thirty one. Okay, now what did I do here? Uh, I got get object, and that object again I have to pass to a particular class. Right, so this is a kind of a it's an operation which takes some amount of time to execute. Okay, first of all, if there are a bunch of objects, my uh, performance goes down in some cases. Okay, but when I use a generic. Let's say let us go back to the previous one. Okay, so let me copy this out and I'm able to access this. Okay, so I did enable this one right now. I can still do do the same kind of for loop here. Even I can use enhanced for loop. Uh, I hope everyone knows what is an enhanced for loop, right? Now here in this case, uh, if you see here, uh, when I say get of i. Initially, 
when i was not really in a generate which was giving me an output but now the different type of your get up is nothing but a first function of mine right so if i say here person okay i have no problem i don't have to pass this particular uh, this particular object to its own type reason is already we are using a generate we are saying the list person so it has been given a variable list of person okay there is no need of having a casting right here okay first of all no need of casting second i cannot it is not going to allow you to add anything apart from your person in here okay so if you say here that i'm using a generates and i'm just using a generates to make sure that during compile time also i'm making sure that the object which i'm trying to add is of that particular type okay now the same thing goes for i say person per in person list directly access it i just say sys out per dot get full or null whatever okay so sys out if i say sys error uh, there is you can even say sys error also okay so this is a category we like to call something okay fine so if you see the error when i say error it is going to give you something that is what i want to see sorry hello that's fine all right fine so in eclipse whenever you have any kind of error i just import in this uh, uh, red line okay this is just to uh, tell you as an output that okay this is an error all right so if you want to say anything in specific if you want to put that in a catch block and if you want to uh, add some exception you can use your error here okay um now this is what we spoke about a generate uh, when we talked about a map also we talked about the same thing here as well okay uh now the question is uh, there was a question asked that how we have even seen how to sort a string right now there was a question which popped up in the uh, previous class how do you sort a particular object okay so let us see that right now in the meantime let's see if i have uh, covered all the basics okay okay let me do the uh, do one thing before that let me cover up uh, the map that is a map and then we will go for into the compiler okay uh now if you see uh we have spoken about the we have spoken about a list right in list you basically have a list of objects right and uh, you you can have a a particular kind of object in there right in a list also you can have uh, multiple objects for example right if you're taking two objects sorry by the way every object uh, i mean every class in your uh, collection can be your single object okay now we'll talk something about a map now what is a map map is map is nothing but it's a combination of a key and a value okay now in case of your in case of an array list it is it, there is no combination it is only one object per index okay but in case of a map it is something like a key and a value okay so in order to get a key and a value pair what do you need to do you need to say map map equal to new hash map right and in that case you just say map dot key 1 of 1 2 of 2 3 of 3 4 of 4 okay now in case of your array list if you add uh, let's say list equal to new array list i just say here uh, list dot add one two so what will be the output of this so i hope everybody can answer this output output of this is going to be 1 1 and 1 so it's something like you add a new object to the list and you are not going to overwrite this particular object which is already present in your list okay so this is how basically list works right now what if you do the same thing in your map first of all let us see the output first and then we'll talk about uh, more something about map Just say sys out and map. Okay. Uh, right click 
run as Java application. Very easy. You just get four, one, two, three. Now, if you can see here, uh, in case of an error list, right? If I just print the same error list out here. I say one one two the same one one two came up over here but here I said one two three four four first came one two three okay there is no order in your class okay so you cannot specify you cannot say that uh, the, the order which I have added the same order I'm going to get go with right now okay so just note it down now the next concern I say one so let me just do this out so that you can check there's nothing here in hex of that that is a normal error list okay one one so this is the key this is the one you can see here this is the key this is the one right now what if i uncomment this now if i run this right click run as java application my one the one which i added was been overridden by hello world why because the value which you gave you have until this is keep a unique key okay the key cannot be duplicated right so it is very similar to like your primary key so this key can never be duplicated actually all right so if i say null i can even use a null i can even use a null java application okay so right click run as java application so the key null null so as you can see i just said it takes only one uh, one key so if you even though you have multiple keys and multiple keys so it is only going to take only one key and it is going to override the existing keys value with the second key otherwise you have overridden the second key okay you just keep this in mind now how do i see this map map pattern right so it's very important to understand what is the use of a map out here now, with the help of a map, what I can say is, uh, I am creating a list of persons. So I'm just saying here, I'm creating a list of persons. Now, what is the use of map? You can make it very easy. So let me copy this and copy this. So I created a list of person out here. need basically is I need a map of uh, let's say object okay object map now in this object map what am I going to do I am going to put this key as a person right here okay I only say person this and the value is going to be a what can anyone tell me what is what uh, the value is expected out here say here person list okay now why, why did I add a map and add a, a person this way okay I'm just telling you the functionality of a map why do you need to use a map basically okay now here when I say a map here right I am able to use a map and I'm just saying map dot put a key and a value now key I can have any kind of object so in this case I'm just using an object right now okay I'm saying a person list right now if I create a new class let's say true the name I'm just saying here public string name let's call this right click uh, source generate data interface right and let me have a map here source dot size let's say 5 
Ты так меня не прости. Okay. Now what am I going to do? I'm just going to create a list of three cards. Okay. The way I created a list of person, I'm going to create a list of three cards. Okay. Root. Root one. Or let's say apple equals to new. one more fruit orange okay so i'll just take this okay now these two fruits i want to put it in a list okay so what am i going to do is i'm just going to say create a list of the same fruit list i'm going to put it here copy this and paste it right now if you can see here when i say uh, usually what happens in practical in your application you want to send a list of objects okay list of objects to to another program right so i can just say here i'm just saying fruit of key and a value this key could be anything let's say here in this case i'm using a string and the value could be a list of anything or the value could be any kind of object the same object as you can see i'm using an object map in this object map i'm using a list of person i can use a list of fruits i can just use a list of any kind of object okay so here this fruit i'm just copying this out and if you just print this, uh, the object map, right click, run as, which I already did. You again get the key, output, this is the key and the value you know which is a personal list. So you will be not getting any problem here unless and until you overwrite the key value. Okay, now how do I access this, uh, these values? In order to access the object i, instead of using an index, it basically takes the name of the fruit, name of the key. So here in this case, I'll just say here, sys out object map dot get out person list. Okay. Now I know the person list is actually a list. So let us, if I run this application, what's going to happen? Right click, run as for application. I'm going to get a list of person cards. Okay. So this person as we have not overridden the key string at all, it is not actually giving me the proper value. Now here you can do anything or if you want to access something like uh, the list of person I have to say get of uh, if you see if you're saying get of person out here uh, get of object out here okay so just saying get of object because we have not used generate if I use a generate I'm going to get a list of person cards here okay so here in this case I did not get a person because I'm just saying get a person get a person list now what is this person list person list is nothing but your list of person so i'm just going to take this i need this as an output person list okay equals to right one now if you if you see here at this point of time again i'm getting a compile time error right okay why because the one which i added in the map what did i add in the map i said object map dot put of key and a value of key okay now what is this value this value is of of type list okay now here it is but the time when you say get of something okay it is going to give you an object now how do you pass this particular object to the list person type can anyone can everyone type in this comment chat uh, what's there right here in the bracket just say person or what should I say here are we 
Brazil, Ame, Florence, Keith, Kirti, Lydia, Madhu, Manu, Nigalata. Can you guys just type in what should be the answer out here? First in list. First in person list. Uh, Adil, I think I missed out a couple of chats out here. So if you guys have any questions, please type in the questions again so that I can discuss uh, those things. I think my Skype chat window got cut at one of them. Okay. So I got a answer person, person, person. So what is such a person? Okay. Okay. Now, what is this? What is this person list? It is not a person, right? It is a list of persons. I'm just giving you a hint out here. I see I'm, I'm expecting uh, Nigalata. Uh, okay, I can check this. Okay. Okay, so list actually worked out for me in this case. When you talk about generics in particular, you say list of persons, okay? Because you are basically talking about a list of persons. So you can use your generics out here also, okay? You can use your generics to class a particular object to a particular person, okay? So here in this case, I got a list of persons. And here again, I can just say for a person, P-E-R, person list one okay i can access the person dot list okay so this is how i can use my generics all right okay now when you talk about how to iterate a particular thing right so we have already spoken about how to iterate a particular collection i mean particular array list so we uh, basically use an iterator Right? So if you want to use an iterator in case of a map, how do you do that? You basically use map dot entry set dot iterator. So which will give you a iterator on that you can basically iterate the complete thing. Okay, so let me just copy this. Okay, so you can there are uh, different ways of doing this. You can uh, let me just show you one way. to use an iterator you need to pay power at google dot iterator so which is a map for map for you uh, map for us out here so this is a map for us so let me take this map and do it like this okay so here i just say i just got the map here i just say map dot entry set dot iterator right so when i say talk about an entry set it is going to give me a list of map dot entry right so uh, in your map if you see this map there is a class inside a map all right sorry there's a class inside this interface right now whenever normally in java if you have a class inside a class that is nothing uh, that is known as a inner class okay now here in this case you have got a map inside that we have got uh, got a class here okay so which we basically say it is a entry set okay now the output of this particular entry set is nothing but it is going to give you a map dot entry dot entry map dot entry dot class okay for each key it is going to give you the value so this is one way of iteration you can iterate using a object map dot entry set dot iterator okay there is one more uh, one more way of iterating which can use a for loop dot provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud tech stack, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions and live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, 
Visit us at hcpinstitute.com.